Hello, Pagan Swampies. It's Clara. I just wanted to make a video and um, just explain what is on my um, altar. I uh, I don't know if you could have seen all of the things on there, so I just wanted to explain the things that I do have. Traveling Book of Shadows. Learn, live, hope. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. Uh, let's see, I have, um, actually I'm doing uh, my fortune puzzle that I got from when I was on vacation as a prize. It, just piece, it says, Peace to the your future, and on the box it says, Fortune puzzle, surprising words of wisdom, offers guidance for your future. Pieces pull together to create positive formations of love, happiness, or success with possible fortunes, fortune puzzles, chance that will help you guide you in the future. Have fun piecing together your first future with for fortune puzzle. <laughs> so um, I actually did it when I was on vacation, but I just want to piece it together so I can um, make it into a sign for my. Uh, my uh, altar because it's not really doing much sitting in a box is it? So, um, but see, I have my tarot cards that I also won from as a prize from volunteering when I was in, at when I was vacationing with uh, my boyfriend and his mom down in Mississippi. So um, I haven't actually learned how to use them, but donation is one of the biggest things that I'm interested in as a pagan. I have uh, my essential oil uh, eucalyptus and I have rose water perfume. I actually got these because I was a full nerd and um, I was reading the Roswell books, Roswell High by um, Megan, Megan something, I don't know. I'll let you know this later. But um, there's a part in the book where the main, one of the sub characters, is that what you call it, um, she's really into aromatherapy and she says that everybody in her friends group has a scent and an aura and the scent for the, her love interest is eucalyptus and her scent is rose. So I just wanted to experience um, the book from the character's perspective and I bought these. So I wanted to smell what it is, and it's actually one of my favorite scents. It's actually really, really pretty smelling. And I put this on my wrists whenever I need an extra boost of, yeah, I'm awesome. So, um, I also have uh, my little funny calendar. It was super adorable um, from Astara. I'm going to keep it even if, even after 2012 is done. A little squirrely bowl. This could be an off bowl, or this just could be for extinguishing matches or um, uh, the incense. I actually do have an incense holder that's over there across my room, um, living room. I have a square vase that I use for to keep my rocks and. I have a feather in here, so. I have matches and pouches. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in these, but it's always nice to have pouches. I have my chalice for um, reputation for water when I'm, if I ever do spell. Or ritual, rituals too. Um, I had a temporary goddess, I mean, god and goddess candle. Um, the red cinnamon ones felt more masculine to me, and this is sugar cookie. So um, I need a, um, I need, I really want two color candles for my really dope. Um, <laughs> candle holders that I've had forever that I took from my mom's house.
which I'm not kind of a thief, I guess, but she never used them. So the, I always loved these, and my mom never, never used these, and I took them because I liked them. And I haven't used them either, so there you go. Um, so these are my pod and goddess candle holders that I will use in the future date. I have uh, my little Buddha, laughing Buddha statue. He's adorable. Um, and he has a parasol and he's laughing and he loves jovial. Um, and that I got from uh, the golf. I went to vacation to golf wars and it's the most amazing shopping ever. It's a medieval reenactment and the best part of that is the shopping. Um, there's um, merchants who bring their wares to war and a lot of them have pagan things so if if you want if anybody lives in the US and or even if you don't there's some insurance people that go to Gulf Wars but um, if you ever get a chance go to Gulf Wars and meet me there because I will definitely be there next year and probably the years after that. Um, I have my goddess doll. I made her a couple months ago, but um, she's pretty tall. And I made her one night when I was feeling especially um, inspired and passionate about paganism. And she has a little strape uh, poncho thing, and I'm Mexican and um, Catholic, Catholic pagan people thought about that. Anyway, um, she is made out of styrofoam for her head, um, fluff for her arms and her body, and a wine glass for her legs and feet. She has three eyes, two seeing, and her third eye, and I painted her face. Actually, um, has a rose pattern around her head. It's pretty neat. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you guys, well, second to last thing, is um, my um, candle holder for my element candles. I have um, yellow for um, yellow for air, um, blue for water, green for earth, pink instead of red for um, fire because I didn't have red. Um, and I have purple for spirit, and um, let's see, and the last thing I have to show you, which is not really much, but I figure this is the last thing on my um, altar, it's just a vase with um, a picture and a card of Jesus in here, and Jesus is one of the um, deities that I um, sorry, sorry about that. One of the deities that I uh, worship, and even though I'm not Catholic anymore, Jesus is really an inspirational person for me. Um, not, I don't really follow the Bible, but um, the spiritual teachings that I have heard of him as a child, as growing up um, in the Catholic family, is um, I like what he um, taught basically without the miracles, about the, all the violence of the Bible. The, sec the um, New Testament is um, pretty much what I would follow. Um, there's actually a book that I really want to get. It's um, by Thomas Shepherdson, and uh, it's The Teachings of Jesus Christ. Um, it's secular uh, religion. It's just um, the teachings spiritual teachings of his life and the way of life and that he wanted to live without the, all the miracles and you know all the fancy evil things. Um, so things for watching are uh, that's pretty much my altar for now. I am completely not finished by far. Um, thank you for watching guys and I'll talk to you later.